Hi. Uh oh, I'm gonna have this in my hair. And I wanted to give you guys a little life update because I have a lot of story to tell, a lot of story that I want to share with you guys, but I might not have enough time. I got a new pimple over here. Anyway, I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Now I'm here in the university and this is my first time filming in the university but I got this pretty good place so I'm just chilling. What? Just said battery is low. I charged but recently for the past couple days my charger hasn't been working well. Wow. It, yeah the battery is like low for real. Like what? It's got none. What? I charged this laptop through the whole night and it's at 6% so obviously yeah I wanted to work on my assignment but I can't because my battery is at now it's at 5% <sighs> head home. let's go home so yeah I'm just gonna head home get on the bus take a train and go to some grocery stores and get groceries and uh I'll be in my room and I'll talk to you guys it's a good day yeah, the sun is out, it's not raining. It was raining in the morning, but it's not raining anymore, so I love it. And now I realize that I just forgot my umbrella in my classroom. Oh. Let's go. So I was just talking to a professor because they were in, the, in front of the classroom, and there's another class happening in that classroom, so I can't, I couldn't come in, but... Well, if it was left in the bathroom, it should be here, but there's nothing like an umbrella, so that means... Um, I lost one. But it's quite sunny out, so maybe it's not a problem. Yeah, there's absolutely no need to worry about. I'm home, and you know what? It's currently 5... 59 so technically speaking it's 5 59 but it's yeah it just turned 6 it's currently 6 p.m so which means i low-key should be starting to cook dinner but i just got my drink over here which is coffee i am addicted to caffeine i'm not gonna lie so i'm home now as you can see i got home about 15 minute ago and then now i have this coffee to talk to you guys oh but before filming this video i also did shadowing with the video because every time i do shadowing my english comes back and i know i know that like logic that i have in my brain i know how my english speaking skill works so yeah i can't really complain about my english speaking skill going down when i'm feeling a drastic drop in that oh i, I feel like i can't speak english and do shadowing you're not doing enough work do it yeah Notice so I said I'm home, right? Like, I remember when I first time heard someone saying, I'm home. I was like, are you home? You're not home. But people actually say, I'm home, I'm home. As to say, I'm back home. You just open the door and you say, I'm home. Anyway. Yay. Coffee. It's the best. Coffee is the best. But anyway, let me give you guys a little update of mine. So. So life update. As you guys know, obviously I am going to university. I am a university student. So school has started about one and a half month ago because it's June now. So it started from the middle of April and yeah, I guess it's been good. Not bad. It's been good actually. Cause as you guys know, I have my platform now. Before the semester, I had part-time, but I l left that place during winter vacation for lots of reasons. Yeah. But I feel like I'm gonna get um, accused of something if I talk about that place. I'm so scared of... <laughs> yeah, I feel like they, they will do it, yeah. I didn't do anything wrong there. I did my best. They actually liked me, but they're just such a... They're out of this world, so I'm not gonna talk about it. So I work as a full-time content creator now, which is quite different from the last semester and which I really do appreciate a lot. So before school, during school, during lunchtime, on my way home, I work. Pretty busy, but I'm enjoying it. I love being busy, so thank you guys. But to give you a little information about me at school, I am by myself most of the time, yeah. I attend a class alone. I eat lunch alone. I spare the time between classes alone. I am most of the time by myself. And does it sound lonely? Maybe to some of you, it might sound 
lonely, but to me, no, because I'm initially an introvert. I could be an extrovert, yeah, if I try. When I'm in an extrovert era, I can be an extrovert, but my natural self, like when I'm true to myself, I'm an introvert because when I'm with a lot of people, it doesn't have to be a lot of people, but when I'm just with a group of people, I feel drained. And that's not to say that there's something wrong with the people that I'm around with, no. It's just about me. That's not what I feel the most comfortable. So I just prefer to be alone most of the time over being with a lot of like group of people. So yeah, when I'm at school, most of the time I am by myself. I mean, if I say that I don't have friends at school, that would be a lie. I have friends, yeah. But when I say friends, I'm talking about friends, you know? And I have very, very few of them in the university as well. I I think I can say that but close to zero, yeah. Most of those friends are from a different school or from a different community. And when I'm with those people, of course I don't feel drained. But yeah, anyway, enough information about me being a natural introvert. But I can also say this out loud that it is not always. Being an introvert doesn't mean you want to be alone. Always. 24-7. It means that you want to be alone most of the time. Sometimes you want to be with some people. At least this is what it means to me, but I know I'm not alone in this. I sometimes feel lonely. Like, not alone, but lonely. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, at school sometimes I feel that, but the different thing is from the last semester is that last semester, I mean, I started going to the therapy from the last semester, the therapy at school, and uh, that time I was trying to fix that problem. I was trying to actually address the problem of not having so many friends in the university and being alone most of the time. I was trying to compensate that part I had within me, but this time, I just observed that problem. I recognize that problem is there. I, I don't want to call it a problem. It's not a problem at all. I see my emotion there. I see how I'm feeling there. I just observe my feeling over here or maybe over here. And then I don't do anything. I just don't address that part of me. I don't try to fix it because it doesn't have to be fixed. Deep down, you know where you feel comfortable. Also, you know that you can't avoid loneliness because we're human, right? So the different thing is that, yeah, I'm not trying to address the problem and I'm kind of ha quite happy about it, yeah. Because I feel like I'm understanding myself more, uh, better. But now, so I get to just observe that happening. But it doesn't mean that I don't feel lonely. I still feel lonely and loneliness is not a good feeling to have, right? You wouldn't want to feel lonely. It sucks, actually. So there's one time about a couple weeks ago, I think, um, I was feeling a little broke. I was feeling a little drained again. It was a mixture of a lot of feelings. I was feeling lonely. I had another thing, another things going on. It was a mixture of everything and I was just broke inside. Not monetary, but like mentally I was broke. And uh, there's this one day on my way from school to home, I was on the bus. And on that bus, when the bus was about to pass through Nishihonganji, Nishihonganji temple, I heard my mind or my body saying, Ayane, you have to get off this bus right now. Get off the bus right now and go visit the massive vast temple that you're seeing right in front of you right now. I heard that voice and I had to make an immediate, immediate decision. I had to make an immediate I can't say and I had to make an immediate decision and you know what I did I got off the bus yeah I listened to my body and I went there and you know what happened I never ever regret making that decision that was the greatest decision I've ever made so yeah, I went to that temple. And the good thing about this place is that there's not so many people. It's not like Kiyomizudera or like, you know, there are temples and shrines in Kyoto where a lot of people go visit and it's just such a busy place, but it's not busy. And I went there and I just got that zen, a peaceful feeling inside of me. Descended, or like received. I first started to feel at peace and safe because of the vibe the temple already had. And I was like, oh, I'm so glad that I came here. And then I walked around and of course I saw it's Kyoto So I saw a few of the tourists there but not many Because to start with there's not so many people there And um, it was a place where you can take your shoes off and go out and explore around a little bit So I was doing that And then I saw this one couple I think it was married couple It doesn't matter though That seemed to have such warm, gentle, yeah just nice kind vibe And um, I was like ah oh, I might want to talk to them but I was like chickening <laughs> but the funny thing is that I was chickening a little bit but it didn't take me that much 
to actually talk to them because that day when I was about to leave the university and when I was in front of the university I saw this group of exchange student or maybe not exchange student I wasn't sure but I saw this group of foreigners I've never seen and I kind of want to talk to them but I don't feel like talking to them because I didn't but then uh, when I was in the temple I feel like oh I gotta talk to them I didn't have that much of barrier here and I just talk to them. I just had a great small talk, nice conversation. They told me that they're taking one month in Kyoto to travel around slowly as they like to travel slow and um, they told me that they're slowly but surely picking up some Japanese history here and there and um, it's been so much fun and it was their first time in Japan so it was such a nice start to hear and I talked about myself as well and when I just heard them talking about Japan and how they're enjoying their trip in Japan it just solidified my desire to be a freelance store guy it's always been on my mind but it was just like it sometimes like lingers in the back of my head and, and it's never been a solid solid passion it wasn't like a burning desire but now it is burning because I talked to them and because I had that conversation so that conversation just solidified that thing that was always in the back of my head like it's in my head now it's in my mind now. and I can voice it out now so it's good I now know one of the things that I really want to do so that was one thing and then after that I went to the stairs and um, I was just sitting down I felt like um, I'm leaving now but I just felt like mm, I might stay here here for a little bit and I just sit down on the stairs and um, when I look at the left side of me uh, there's this one lady I don't remember where she's from and no, 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 I didn't even ask where she was from but there's this one lady a little far away from me but she was sitting there and she was reading a book on the stairs and um, that moment it was just like her reading a book and a temple it all looked just so aesthetic and I felt like oh I have to capture this moment in whatever the form possible possible and I was like ah oh, what do I do I feel like I have to do this but again I was chickening bye and after a few minutes I was also chilling there while having that thoughts I saw her about to leave I was like ah oh, what do I do but then there comes a group of two or three uh, tourists again they came up to her and said hey where did you get the shoes and i just saw her answering to their question she was like ah oh, i got this from her i just saw that conversation i feel like oh i can talk to her she doesn't feel seem to be uncomfortable about like being talked to so i just put on my shoe and went to her and said hey excuse me, excuse me i also wanted to talk to you um i just looked at you reading a book over there and i just explained it all and i felt like I have to film, I have to capture this moment and so do you mind taking your picture? Do you mind if I take your picture? Of course like with your phone and she was like, oh my god, thank you. She said, of course. I looked at her and wow, she had her own camera. Oh my goodness, she was the kind of person who liked to film, who liked to capture the moment, who liked to take a photo, take photos, take pictures, whatever. I don't know the grammar. But yeah, so I was like, oh, you got your own camera? That's so nice. Let me take one or two or three or four or five. And she's like, yeah, thank you. You're so sweet. And I got her camera, the real one. And I started taking her picture. And then can you move a little bit over here? And then, you know, I just took her picture. And when I was taking that, her boyfriend came. I didn't know she was there with her boyfriend, but she was, yeah. So he came and I was like, hey. Do you want to join in this like like photo shooting situation and he was like yeah <laughs> and yeah so like suddenly this photo shooting situation started i was just telling them that this is just me having this immediate urge to take your picture like capture this moment so i have no experience as a photographer so i can't promise the quality of the photo but i just would love to do it so let me do it and they were like of course hell yeah and i took their picture and their vibe was also so sweet and I yeah so took their picture and that was an absolute blast I'm so glad that I talked to them and they liked the photo and uh, <coughs> yeah bless me yeah so I had that kind of you know conversation experience and I was able to end that day with a um, peaceful happy uh, heartwarming feeling and vibe though I was feeling broken down in the beginning so yeah i just came to a realization again that listening to your body listening to what your mind says when you can 
really is important. That really works and that really means a lot to you. It means the world to you because that's what your mind says. Yeah, I just had that kind of experience. I hope, I hope I made a story clear to you guys and my coffee is almost done now. So I'll stop talking. So yeah, from that experience, I learned two things, which was, it's again important to listen to what your mind and body says. And second, um, I want to be a freelance store guide and I will learn how to be and I'll keep learning, learning, learning. Yeah, I learned that. And yeah, also the vibe matters. You catch the vibe, you talk to them and there's a chemistry there. The world is so like full of mystery and amb ambiguity, and, but there's also something always sure about. I think I said it wrong. But anyway, I actually gotta go. But yeah, I loved talking to you guys, doing some little like update. I had a good time. Thank you for listening. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys like this video and if you stay till the end of the video, to the end of this video, please leave any kind of earth emoji. Cause there's like four types of earth, earth emoji, I think. You can choose whatever the one you like. I hope to see you soon. I love you guys so much. And um, yeah, see you soon. Bye, you're beautiful. Bye.